Those of you joining me live, um, my name is Erin Murphy. I am a fitness instructor in the beautiful state of Washington, and I started teaching some live full fitness classes uh, in my gym at home, so you can do them in your homes, hopefully. They have minimal equipment, and so you should be able to find everything you need for class in your own house. Today, we've got a full body workout for you. It's a strength and sculpting based workout uh, Pilates. So if you're up for it, here's what you need. A space to do your class. <laughs> I suggest you have a mat or a blanket or a towel or something that you can lay down on. And then two items that are optional. All my workouts are like this. I want you to be able to do them from anywhere. Uh, no matter if you have a lot of equipment at your house or none. So the equipment is always optional. You'll get a great workout even if you don't have any of these things around you. But today, if you have a hand towel, like this, kind of a smaller hand towel, and I'll repeat myself as people are logging on and joining class, but if you've got a towel, small kind of hand towel, dish towel, grab it. And then if you have a loop band, grab that as well. Again, if you don't have either of these or if you just have one or the other, cool. You'll be able to do this workout with either one of these items, both or none. So don't stress about it. You can join in on class. It's going to be a killer workout. It's full body Pilates today. But if you have a loop band, get it. And if you have a, like a small-ish dish towel, like so, Grab that as well, all right? So I'm gonna give you a second to get those things. Um, also, I don't play music on my channel because I want you to be able to listen to what you want to listen to. So uh, if you prefer listening to music while you work out, I suggest you get that set up too. And um, maybe some water if you need that, all right? So gather your items. We're gonna be starting here in about, oh, 30 seconds or so. So last chance here. Um, Get a mat or a towel or a blanket, have a seat. We're gonna start down on our mat, so that's always nice. <laughs> a nice change, especially from yesterday's workout. But if you have one or both of these items, grab them. A towel, like a small, smallish dish towel, you need that if you've got it. If you don't, don't stress. And then a loop band. And then if you're joining me live, I am, Streaming my live classes from my YouTube channel, which is Erin Murphy Fitness, and then I'm also streaming them live from Instagram. So they're live. I never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I haven't had too many problems, but I save them on both. If you experience some sort of a glitch or something, you can always switch over to the other platform and see if it's better there for you. But um, you can follow me on YouTube or Instagram. So grab your towel, grab your loop band if you've got it, and most importantly, if you're here live, the reason why we do these classes live is for that sense of community, that support, there's somebody else kind of gutting it out through this class with us, with me, so if you're here live and you're going to be doing the class with me today, let me know. Say, hey, it's so-and-so, hi, <laughs> Erin, and I'll try to pay attention and say hello back, so uh, say hi. And I'll take a second and say hi back after we set up. So get your music started if you want to listen to music. Get a mat or a towel to sit on. Get a loop band if you've got it. And then a small dish towel. And then we're going to get started. You guys ready? All right. Who have I got here so far? Lisa and Lacey. Nice to see you guys. Nice to see everybody there from Instagram as well. So loop band, towel, mat. Full body Pilates today. We're gonna to start down on our mat. You can be on your knees, you can sit back on your heels if you prefer, or you can even sit down on your side. We're gonna start getting that upper body warmed up. If your knees or lower back start to hurt when you're down on the ground for very long, you can do this first part standing, all right? So I want you to grab your loop band. If you do not have one, Totally cool. You're going to do exactly what I'm asking you to do with a loop band, without one. All right? <laughs> Easy enough, right? So we're going to take our loop band over our wrists. Make two fists 
palms facing down, and then I want you to press outward against your loop band. So if you don't have a loop band, you're just gonna hold your arms like this, two fists, all right? We're gonna go down and up. Today is an all over full body workout. We're gonna get core, we're gonna get upper body, and we are going to get lower body as well. So be in for all that. Yesterday we did a hit and glutes workout and it was killer. <laughs> Today will be killer as well, it'll just be in a different way. All right, this is a strength-based class. Not a ton of cardio here, which is fine. We just need to mix it up, right? So as you are raising those arms, if you have a loop band, you need to be pressing against your loop band. So the harder you press out against that loop band, the more intense this is gonna be. If you do not have a loop band, don't worry. Just do this motion without your loop band. We'll get you there. Don't worry about it for one second. All right, we are gonna do 10 pressing against that loop band. And eight, seven, six. These are some of my very favorite shoulder and back moves here with a loop band, go figure. Four, three, two, and I want you to leave your arms right out in front of you at chest level. We're gonna start to do little tiny outward presses. If you don't have a loop band, you're just gonna press little tiny um, presses outward with no loop band, that's fine, keep it small, all right? Press against that loop band, we've got two fists, palms are facing down, pressing hard, just pushing those arms out. All right. We're gonna go 10 seconds. I want those outward presses as strong as you can make them. Here we go, 10, nine, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold that outward press. We're going down and up again, down and up. So we're pressing out against the loop band if you've got one. If not, just keep those arms parallel. 10 was a nice round number. We'll keep it at that. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And I want you to leave those arms right out at chest level. We're gonna pull back against that loop band, push straight back out. Pull back, push straight back out. Pull, so just pulling those elbows straight back, pressing against the band. As we go, we've got 10 and nine, eight, seven. My arms are already starting to shake. That's not a good sign already. <laughs> Four, three, Two, last one, one, hold those arms out in front, press out against your loop band if you've got it, we're going down and up, down and up. We've got 10, nine, and eight, seven, six. If you're just joining and you don't have a loop band, don't worry. Do these motions without, three, Two, last one. I want you to press out against your band, bring your arms straight down, lean forward slightly, little teeny outward presses, okay? If you start to strain your neck, looking up here like this, lower that head slightly. You got 15 seconds right here, and then we're gonna get out of this loop band for a second, all right? So you're pressing outward. If you don't have a loop band, just little tiny presses outward. 10 more seconds. Holy moly. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and last one. Relax, you're gonna set that loop band aside. I want you to turn on your mat, and we're gonna move right into a tricep push-up. I'm gonna do mine from my knees. You can do full ones if you'd like. Fingertips are facing forward, elbows are going back. All right, here we go, nice and controlled. Down and up. Down and up. 
Nice and controlled. Keep your elbows in close to your body. Breathe. And I think we'll keep it at 10. I'm liking that my number today. 10. And 9. 8. We've got 6. Four, three, two, and last one. All right, we're going to slowly lower ourselves all the way down to our mat and turn on our side. Heads up, if you're just joining, you're going to need a hand towel at some point. So make sure you've got it. <laughs> all right, we're going to lay on our side, bottom arm down. Top arm, palm at shoulder level. Your legs, you can kind of do what you want to anchor yourself. We've just got a side tricep push up. I want you to get started and we'll chat form once you're going, right? Your palm should be at about shoulder level. I want you to push all the way off the floor for now and straighten that arm totally straight. Try not to push off with this arm. Just let it hang out down there. And we're just going to do a full range of motion. Try to control it on the way down as well. Don't straighten and then drop. Okay? Control it on the way down as well. We're going to do about 15 of these on this side. Breathe through it. I think we're on about 11. And 10. Eight more. You got this. You got it. Seven. If you can't push yourself up anymore, use this arm to kind of help. But don't use that arm unless you have to. Let's do three. Woo Two. And one. All right. We're coming back. So do that you can to push yourself up. We're going to come back to all fours and go back to a variation of our tricep push-ups. This one I'd like you to do on your knees. You'll see why in just a second. Even if you can do a full push-up, come to your knees here with me. Tricep push-up back into child's pose. It's this range of motion that makes these awesome, all right? So give it a try. If you need to push, sit back in child's pose. One of my favorite push-up variations here. Feel that stretch at the back. Nice and fluid motion. Fingertips are facing forward. Elbows are facing back. And those elbows are tucked in nice and close to your body. And after all that, make sure that you're breathing. Keep going. If you want to go a little faster than me, you are more than welcome to do that. Just make sure that your form is on point. Don't sacrifice, sacrifice form for speed. But we are going to do about a 10 count. So if you're not on with my count, that's cool. Just keep going until I'm done counting. So we'll do 10. And eight. Oh, it's getting hard to press myself up. Seven. We've got five. Four. Oh, here comes the struggle bus right here. Oh, three. Two. And one. All right, we need to move to the other side. So I'm not going to have you go all the way down to your mat. You need to stay up on all fours so we can turn and do those one arm push ups on this other side. So go ahead and lie flat. Bottom arm is just nice and straight. 
Your legs are there to increase, so whatever you need to do, they can be straight or kind of staggered like mine. Palm is at your shoulder. You ready? Let's go. You want to do your best just to use this top arm. Don't push off with the bottom. And control is really important. So try to control your fall. Try to control yourself on the way down. If your arm slips or your body scooches down, just bring that arm back down so it's lined up with your shoulder. And we are going to do 15. Woo! 13. 11. And 9. 8. And 6. 5. Three. Oh, can I get myself up off here? I don't know. Two. Last one. And one. Nice work. All right, we gotta help ourselves up. Woo! And we're gonna come back to another push-up variation. Last one in this set. All right, guys. So again, we're gonna do a tricep push-up. You can do them from your knees or full. And we're gonna move to a side plank in between. So follow along. Don't worry about going a little bit at a slower pace. Get my stuff out of the way here. Because this is a time under tension move. You're working the whole time. All right? You ready? Here we go. We're going to give ourselves a push. And then you're going to put your feet down. See if I got my stuff out of the way. No, of course not. Get out of the way. All right. Side plank. Then we're going to come back forward. Knees down, and you're going to give me a push up, and then we'll go in the other direction. So you're going to turn to that side plank, come back to center, and you can do a full push up where you can put your knees down. We're not going to do a ton because we've got a lot of arm work to go, but let's do five. And five. Right? You have to do both sides. You're like, what? What, Aaron? <laughs> Four. And four. Oh, my arms are shaking. Three. And three. Two. Can we get this last one? Sure we can. One. And we gotta do that other side. And one. Let's come down to our knees. Walk those hands back so your head is up above your heart. And we're going to turn and face the moon again. So now is the time for your towel. We're going to be up on our knees. You can sit back on those heels if you'd like to. You're just holding your towel on either side. And we're going to do a front raise. I want you pulling outward on that towel. So start now. Then you're going to come up and down. All right, pulling outward on your towel. We're going to catch our breath. <laughs> Big, deep breaths. This is one of those moves that you get to choose how hard you work because the harder you are pulling outward on your towel, the harder those shoulders and back and chest are going to work. If you don't have a towel, you'll just make two fists and raise your arms. And that is fine too. All right, we've got 10 and nine, eight, seven, pulling outward on that towel nice and tight, five, four, 
Three. Two. Last one, hold it right out in front. Little teeny outward pulls. Little teeny outward pulls on that towel. Nice and tight. All right, 10 seconds here. As strong as you can be for 10. Five, four, three, two. Now I want you to hold that tight pull, all right? We're gonna turn to the, it would be what? You guys is right. <laughs> and then we're gonna turn to the left. Turn and turn. So you're pulling outward on that towel. Pretend like you're kind of driving some weird, funky arcade game. <laughs> turn in one direction and turn in the other direction. We're still keeping a real tight, tight pull on that towel. Nice and controlled. Tilt your chin down slightly. We don't need to strain our neck. My arms are still shaking from all those push-ups, right? Give me eight. And seven. Six. Five. If you don't have a towel, you're just moving your fists. Four, you're still gonna feel it in those shoulders. Three. Two. Last one, hold it here. We're still pulling outward on that towel. Come all the way overhead, chest level. All the way overhead and chest level. Arms are nice and straight. You still have tension on that towel, right? I hope so. Those arms are gonna get shaky. They're gonna quit doing what you're telling them to do. That usually happens to me. Come on, arms go up, they're not going. <laughs> Give me 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now you're gonna leave that towel above your head. You're gonna pull outward and you're gonna bring it to your chest and press it up. So when it comes down to your chest, you should be able to get a lot more tension, a lot more pull on that towel. We're almost done with set. Hang in there with me. Keep a nice tight grip on your towel. You've got 10. We're focusing more on the downward pull. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, last one. Leave it straight up. We're coming down and up. You have 10 and nine, eight. So I got a lot of tension on that towel. I hope so. Six, five, four, three. Two, now you're gonna hold your towel right out in front, little teeny outward pulls. You got this, you got it. All right, I want you pulling outward on your towel as hard as you can. You've got 15 seconds to burn out your shoulders and your back, and it's all up to you, so here we go. 15. 12 more. We've got six, five, four, three. Can we do it? Sure we can. And one. Drop those arms. Great job. We're gonna set our towel aside. And we've got one more set of our push-ups, pushing back into child's pose. Hang in there with me. I know you guys are tough and strong. I know the kind of workouts I've been putting you through, and you keep coming back so you can do this, okay? All right, so we're gonna be in that push-up position. Push-up and then back to child's pose. You ready? Let's go. Push, whoa, and I already feel like 
I'm going to drop myself on my face. <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> All right. Let's go through with 12. Breathe. 10. And 8. We've got four, three, two, last one, and one. Nice work. We're going to come right down on this side for one final set of our side one arm push ups. This time, just a little subtle change, all right? I want your bottom arm to come up through your top and hold on to your shoulder, all right? So we get that arm out of the way so you can't press up your arm. Uh, top arm, palm down, right about shoulder level. Legs, do what you need to do, okay? You ready? Let's go. Up and down. Remember, control on the way down is the name of the game here. Press up, control it down. We've got 15, you can do 15. Twelve more. And 10. We've got eight. Six, five, four, three, two, awesome. and one. Ooh, I'm gonna try to gracefully put myself down on the ground, <laughs> not just drop myself. All right, other side. <laughs> right on over. All right, now get set up so that top arm is down. You're going to kind of weave that bottom arm, hold on to your shoulder, palm at shoulder level. Let's see, by the final set of these, I'm like, I'm not sure I can get my upper body off the ground, but let's see how it goes, right? Ready? Here we go. Don't hold your breath. I know you're working hard, but don't hold your breath. We're gonna go with 15. And 13, control on the way down. If you slip and slide a bit, adjust your home. We'll finish here with 10. Eight. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, we're going to try to be graceful again. I'm not always the best at that. We're just going to roll over on our back. All right? So let's get going with a little bit of core work. That would be nice, right? Start out nice and simple. I want your hands behind your head. You can do one or two. We're going to go turning towards the camera. I just want up and out. Okay? Nice and simple engaging with that core, stay with the same side. So why I want to start here is I want you to start to focus on your abs and not need to think about a ton of other things going on. <laughs> so curl up nice and high. Exhale as you bring that knee in. 
We're staying up in our crunch and we're just opening and turning. The higher you stay up in that crunch, the more intense your ab burn will be. So stay up nice and tall into that curl. We're gonna do 10 and then you're gonna leave your legs straight and you're gonna bring it up and down instead of in and out. Got it? Simple, right? 10 and nine. Eight, really connect with your core here. Squeeze your abs. Six, five, four, three, two. Last one, leave it straight, same thing, touch. If it's too much to do this straight leg, and I want it nice and controlled, I want you to really squeeze your abs at the top. So touch your elbow to your knee. If that's too much, then you can bring it in and out again. And we are going to do 10. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Really squeeze your abs there at the top two. Last one. Now you're going to take that straightened leg and place it down on the ground. Lay your head down. The bend knee, cross it over and open up so that your ankle's right above that straight leg. Then you're going to take your hands over your down side, and we're going to do a leg lift, okay? I want this crossover leg just to be dead weight. You're lifting with a straight leg. You ready to give it a try? Here we go. Now, once you get going, the crossover leg is adding resistance. So try not to lift with that leg. I can't talk when I'm bringing my other leg up. Then I want you to do your best not to rest your heel on the ground when your straight leg goes down. Okay, you can tap your heel down, but don't take a rest. And then for a little extra squeeze in the core, try to get that straightened leg as close to your chest as you can at the top. And we're gonna do 15. 14 and 13. We've got 11 and 10. Eight. Six and five. You got it. Four. Two. And one. Lay that leg down. We're gonna untangle our feet. Give me a nice full body stretch. Now, I'm gonna sit up and turn to the other side so I can face you. You can turn if you want with me or you can stay laying down where you're at. You'll just be going the other direction, right? So. Here we go, other direction. Lay on down. See if I can remember all that, right? Knees bent, hands behind our head. We can do one or two. This leg, coming in and out. Crunch all the way up. Stay up in that crunch, and it's just a twist. Now I find that it's harder to breathe during that last kind of leg lifting bit. So use this opportunity to catch your breath. Curl up a little higher. We've got that twist. The higher you curl, the more you're gonna feel this in your core. So stay up real high. All right, guys, 10. And eight. Seven. Six. Four, 
Three, two, last one. You still curled up nice and high? All right, straight leg. Get that leg all the way up so your elbow can touch your knee. And then I like to take a split second when my elbow touches my knee to really kind of hold it there for a second. Pay attention to what you're doing. Squeeze your abs. All right, we've got 10. And eight, curl up a little higher. Six. Four. Three. Two. Last one. One. Put that straight leg down. Cross the other leg over. Stick those hands under your backside. Now remember that crossover leg, it's just dead weight. So let it just hang out. You ready? Let's go. Up. Gives us a nice little stretch in our glute. It's crossed over too, right? Now don't just swing. Be deliberate in those movements. I want you to try to press your straight leg as close to your chest as you can at the top of this move. We've got our 15. Thirteen. Ten more. And eight. Seven. Five. Four, three, two, we can do it, last one, and place that heel down, untangle your legs, we'll give ourselves a nice big stretch, and then go ahead and grab your knees, and let's rock and roll up to a seated position, all right, we're going to drop our knees to the right, just like so. Sit up nice and tall. Your bottom leg is going to kind of come in front and your top leg is going to come behind. Now, we're going to start to activate our glute outer thigh and get a little bit of oblique work done. So I want you to sit up as straight as you can. This side arm here is to help support you, but I want you to lean on it the least amount you need to. All right? So try to sit up straight. My arm's already shaking. And we're going to take our other arm that we're not leaning on, raise it up above our head. Lean over to the side slightly, and you're going to need a crunch. Now, once you get going on this crunch, you need to find your spot where you can feel this in your oblique right there and your outer thigh and glute. So what I mean by that, some people, if you press your knee back a little bit more and you kind of come behind, you can feel that squeeze a bit more. Some people prefer their leg a little bit farther in front. I want you to find where you can give yourself that nice oblique squeeze and be working that outer thigh and glute at the same time. This leg, the whole thing comes up together. Squeeze and squeeze. We've got 15. 13, big hard squeeze here. 12, whoo, I'm feeling that. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6, 5, 4, 3, Two. Now I want you to hold this leg up. You can take this arm and put it here if you need, but try to sit up nice and straight. Little lifts. Bring the whole thing up together. Squeeze that oblique still so you're kind of folding your rib cage towards your hip while lifting. You got 10 seconds. Ah! Eight, seven, 
six, oh my goodness, five, stay up your leg, three, two, and bring it down. We're going to take just a second to swing that Shake it out, okay? Oblique, lower back, glutes, outer thigh, my oh my. Maybe we need to give it just a tiny bit of a stretch before we go to the other side because we're going to lay on this side, right? Okay, other way. Legs going back. Whoo! Am I ready for this? Let's see. Sit up nice and tall. Top arm comes up. Lean over to the side just enough so you can pick that leg up. Squeeze and squeeze. So we're lifting up and make those adjustments for your body. Do you need to bring your leg in front a little more? Do you prefer pushing it back behind you? But make sure that you can squeeze that oblique. All right, let's do our 10. Sounds like a good number, right? 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Really squeeze that oblique. Five, you wanna fold your rib cage to your hip. Four, three, two, last one. One, keep that leg. Put this arm down if you need, but I still want that rib cage folded close to your hip. Lift, lift, lift. Little tiny high lifts. Bring that whole leg up. 15 seconds. Here we go. 15, 14, ah, 12, and 10, 9, 8. I am a shaky mess. <laughs> Six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Oh my, 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 my. All right, shake those legs out just for a second. Let's give it just a slight little stretch here for that low back and glute before we move on. Nice job. All right. So, you're gonna grab your loop band. <clears throat> if you don't have a loop band, this is still work without, so don't worry. I want it just around your ankles. You're gonna lie on your side. It doesn't matter which side you choose right now, okay? Lie on that side. Let's see, we gotta back it up just a little bit so you guys can see there at home. Oh, we gotta break just for a second, right? Hey. So, we're just gonna be up on our side. Here's what I want. Nice straight body line, up on your elbow if you can. If your arm's too tired, go ahead and lie flat. Outer thigh and glute. So, I want you to angle your hips downward slightly and lead with the top leg, your heel, okay? And we're just gonna give a little press. So you're pushing against your band. Now again, I do these all the time without a loop band, so if you don't have a loop band, this still works awesome. Just turn that toe down, heel up, you're going to give little teeny upward presses, all right? Upward presses, big, big push. Give me 10, 9, and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, hold the pressure against your band or hold your leg up and give you little teeny lifts there at the top. So my hips are facing down, my heel is facing up slightly, the toes down, okay? Keep pressing upward, up, up. You should be starting to feel this in your outer thigh, your boot, your hamstring, <clears throat> all that good stuff. Little tiny presses there at the top. You got 10 seconds. And then we're going to go back to that full range lift, all right? 10 seconds. Here we go. 10, 9, and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and here we go. Big lift, big lift, big push. 
Now, I want you to start a forward and back tap, all right? Forward and back tap. If you have a loop band, it's like you're using the centrifugal force of that band. You come, come up over the top, you're pressing against the band. If you don't have a loop band, just keep that toe down and heel up, up and over, up and over, up and over. We're almost there. You've got 10, nine, eight, outer thighs and glutes here, six, five, draw that little rainbow, four, three, two, and we are going to end right here in front, toe down, heel up, little teeny presses, the tiny high presses, here's the end of the set, you have 10 seconds to completely burn out that glute and outer thigh. Here we go, 10, nine, and eight, Woo! three, two, and that's that. Bring those knees in slightly, do that a little bit of a pat to kind of work out all that tightness. We can sit back in child's pose real quick. <clears throat> And then we'll move on to the other side and get that one done because we've got one last little set for our shoulders <clears throat> before we can truly, truly be done with class today, all right? So again, if you do not have a loop band, cool. You can do this without. Otherwise, nice straight body line, okay? Turn your hips down, heel up. And we're just gonna give ourselves that full range of motion, lift and lift. This angle incorporates hamstrings and glutes and outer thigh. The side angle, awesome too, mostly outer thigh, and a lot of times we kind of turn our toe up and overcompensate with our quads. And we don't need to do that today. So we're gonna angle down, give me 10. Nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then you're going to give me those little teeny upward presses. So your legs should be nice and straight, little tiny presses as hard as you can against that loop band. Don't have a light loop band, just give me tiny little pushes upward. You got 10 seconds. And then you guys know where we're going with that arch, so we're going to go right into it, all right? 10, 9, and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold up, arch behind, arch in front. Press against that band, arch behind, arch in front. As much tension as you can give yourself in this weird angle, right? All right, we're gonna do 12, 11, and 10, nine, eight, seven, we're almost there, six, five, four, three, two. We are gonna end with that leg in the front position. Little teeny pulses up. Hamstrings, glutes, outer thighs. Oh my goodness. Give me 10 seconds. Here we go. 10, 9, and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and relax. Oh, bend those knees a little bit. Give yourself a pat. You know what, my leg is so dead by the end of that. I don't think I was pressing against my band at all. I could have done that set with no band and it would have killed me just as badly. <laughs> nice work. All right, little pat. We're gonna step out of our band, if I can do that. My legs don't work. <laughs> Set your band aside just for a second. Roll on over to your back. We're gonna give our knees a little bit of a hug and then we're gonna rock and roll up. So. Squeeze those knees in, kind of loosen up your hamstrings and ankles for a second. Rock and roll up to that seated position. And here's where we will end class. 
I want to throw in one last set for our shoulders, back, and biceps. I'm going to do it kneeling. You can stand up for this one. We're going to use our loop band over our wrists. Um, so, low, low body is done. If you're like, oh my gosh, I need to stand up. My um, hamstrings are shot. <laughs> then go ahead. All right. So, if you have a loop band, I want you to grab it. If you don't, do this without. Okay. Two fists. Palms facing one another, all right? You're gonna press outward against your loop band. So we're starting similar to where we started last time. And you're gonna bring it up and up. I want everybody to get started. What have I got here? Oh, <laughs> perfect. I need more people in my live videos. All right, bring it up and up. I love comments from you guys that are uh, training with me live. I try my best to catch you as they scroll by. So um, if I miss your comment, then send me another one and I'll try it again. <laughs> I want you pressing outward against that band. Palms facing one another, making two fists. Again, you can do the same thing, even if you do not have a loop band, all right? All right, guys, we've got 10 and nine, eight, Six, five, four, three, two. I want you to leave those arms at chest level and you're gonna get outward presses. Little tiny outward presses. I've got a whole bunch of videos saved, more so on my YouTube channel than on Instagram. But what I try to do is give you a really well-rounded full body workout throughout the week. So, like yesterday, we did a ton of heavy lower body stuff. Today, we did some more. But if you do several of my classes throughout the week, you should get every part of your body. If you're missing something, um, go back to my YouTube channel, most likely, and find what you need. There's tricep workouts, bicep workouts, heavy weights, um, Pilates, yoga, all that stuff. So get what you need. If you miss a class, we'll get you there. All right, hold that outward press. We're going down and up. Shoulders and back, you feeling it? I am, my goodness. Up to chest level. This time you've got 10, and we're gonna end with our fists facing downward. All right, 10 and nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And then I want you to hold those arms down and start pressing outward. Now, here's a little twist on what we did last time. You're doing little teeny outward presses. While you're pressing outward, I want you to slowly bring your arms up, slow. All right, and slowly bring them down. Oh my goodness! If you don't have a loop band, just go through this motion. It'll still work. Pressing out, 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 and down. My oh my oh my. Pressing outward, coming up, nice and slow. And coming down, nice and slow. Hang in there, guys, hang in there. Coming up, pressing outward. And going down, two more. Nice and slow on the up and down. Up. My shoulders are on fire. Oh my goodness. And down. We're gonna come all the way up. And then I want you to hold the outward press. I want you to bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Notice how my hands and my elbows are lined up. Okay, try to keep them lined up. Press outward. Okay, the whole thing, out, out, out. Everything presses outward together, all right? Keep your elbows parallel with your shoulders. This is where we're gonna end class. It's gonna get tougher before it gets easier. Hang in there with me. You've got 10 seconds, nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two. Now you're gonna hold that outward press, everything's lined up, right? And you're gonna punch up towards the ceiling. Punch and punch. Now if everything's lined up, you're not gonna be able to straighten your arms. But I do want you pressing outward against your band. You're gonna feel tension that your body is creating, those shoulders are gonna be screaming at you. And we're gonna do 10, nine, and eight. Try to keep pressure outward on the band. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it at the top, push outward on that band, little teeny punches up, 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 up. This is where we end class, right here. You need tension outward on the band, Two little punches up towards the ceiling. Try to keep everything lined up so your elbows are right under those wrists. You've got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and that is that. Oh, 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 oh. let's get rid of this loop band. Shake out those arms and let's Give ourselves a little bit of a stretch. Interlock your fingers behind your back. Thank you so much for joining me for our live full body Pilates class. Tomorrow at 8 a.m., I'll be back here doing a hit and upper body class. I love to hear from you. Let me know if you completed my class today. Let me know where you're from. Many of you guys I know were friends, but some of you I don't know. And I'd love to hear where you're, where you're joining me from. Um, tell your friends about our live classes. It's much more fun to have more people to kind of push ourselves through these tough workouts. And then if you have a second, let me know the move today that you love to hate, all right? The move that you felt was the most effective, the most challenging, roll those shoulders back. The move, your one move, that you loved to hate today. My arms were so tired that the move that was the most challenging for me is one that normally I don't feel like I'm gonna fall flat on my face, but our tricep push-ups with the side plank, my arm was like jello and I thought, this is it, this is how I'm gonna go. This is how I'm just gonna go out. <laughs> All right, great job you guys. Um, I'm going to end my Instagram page and then I'm going to get back to my YouTube guys. So give me just a second to come to you. All right. I got to find you though. How'd you guys do today? Are you dead from yesterday? You love to hate the arm push-ups. I know, right? The one arm ones, Jody, are those the ones you hate? The one arm push-ups are the ones where you go back into a plank position or a, a child's pose. Uh, my arms were just jello by the end of this one. And I am feeling yesterday's workout was so intense that I just feel drained today. So it's been some good workouts. Uh, I, they're much needed, but I'm feeling it today. Great job. Um, thank you for your feedback. I love to hear that. Thank you for being here with me. Lisa Hayden and Emily again. It's so great to see you guys and we'll see you again tomorrow. All right.